Okay, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to Elden Ring. I am your host, Luca Blight, and I don't know why I'm doing such a formal introduction, but uh, there are actually two bosses in Australia that I missed, and I'm trying to assemble, not the Avengers, but I'm trying to assemble my setup here that is not working in my favor at all. Okay, well, that should... Because let's see. So there's. Yeah, that one. Damn it! There's that one. Okay. Yeah, because they're relatively close together. So, cool. Can okay, I that there? Awesome! Alright, set up. Yes, yes, swing that sword! Swing your sword! Which, funny enough, I believe that's the actual pronouncement of how you're supposed to say it is sword. Um. So we got bosses Uno and Ma. Uno and Ma's one and more. <laughs> no, we got. That one's roughly like right there. And see, Azavan is actually yeah, right there because the. If uh, you're looking for like a cave, look for the little uh, charcoal symbol there. That, that's a clear indicator that you got a cave there. So. That's that bridge, so I'm actually going to start from the cave where we fought Zibair. So this is me pretty much playing catch up with, uh, the, well, it's the the whole area of Limgrave, but uh, we're starting with Australia, as I like to call it, because it looks like Australia. So we're going to head to... Head to two first. Because I want to get all the bosses out of the way. I like. I basically want to cover these areas as we approach them and get as little backtracking involved as possible. I mean, unless it's for you know, like quest lines and whatnot. Uh, but actually, there's only the main quest lines I want to get. To... I'm going the wrong damn way. Well. Semi going the wrong way. Yes, yeah, Gerd, you too have breeds or half humans, demi humans. Excuse me, coming through. Yes, yes, fire your laser beams. I'll plant those. Hi! Ah, fangirls, get away! <laughs> Having an orgy on my freaking screen, why don't you shit? <laughs> get off of me, you goddamn bat things! Like Zoic Scoob! They were having an orgy in front of our screen! Actually, I'm gonna rest that grace, get a free heal, because fuck those bat things. Fuck those Batmen! Hello, Batman! I see you're fucking up my screen! And that was the worst joke impression I've ever made. Oh, hello, misbegottens. Time to be shanked, bitch! Yeah, Gerard, you too. Can't quite get over there. So we're gonna walk the plank as it's were in the pirate day. Almost fell off to my death. No, no, no. Off. Fucking fall <laughs> now, sadly, I have to kill this guy because he's guarding some uh, upgrades or some upgrade smithing stones. I 
Don't worry. His sacrifice will not be in vain. Again, I'm only killing you for the upgrade materials. Did you hear somebody ring a bell? Okay, these guys could be hostile automatically because they're not really mining. If I was working for these Misfit Guns, I'd be pissed off too. That buff actually lasts a little bit. Do you have a good poop, my little cat? I fucking saw that. Whoa! By two of them. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh my god, hi! Cave, shithead. I don't know why I'm sticking up on these guys. Like, if they're actively mining. Oh, shit. They're actively mining, as I was really interrupted. Um, they won't actually act aggressive towards you. Now, if you do take the thing that they are mining, then they'll get pissed off. Like, for example, that thing, like, watch this. Yeah, see, now he's pissed off. Ow! Quick attack, huh? Going for the quick snapperoo, eh? Sadly, it did not work in your favor, good sir. Alright, so that's where we came from. That's where we were. Ooh. Yoink. Oh, damn it, I forgot to put that on. I can see! I have eyes! Look, brother, I can see once again. It's a fucking miracle. I 
Now the somber stones, those are for your uh, boss weapons that we get. Like the uh, the grafted blade that I picked up. Oh, hey, we already at the debush. Debushki. So there should be a Sig of America nearby, or at least I think there is. Hoping that there is. Um, isn't there an entrance that I have not explored yet? Or is it... No, okay, it's just the three. Alright, so yeah, now we can head over here. And deal with the boss. I should ram me through a couple of my uh, thingy was it's So it should be a scaly misbegotten, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, one of the guys, one of the big boys. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Argue that boss is easier than the fucking um, the beast man guy that I fought at the very beginning of this uh, playthrough. I actually figured he'd be a more appropriate um, early game boss than the uh, beastman of Azul. Starts with an A. I just remember that much. Okay. Um. This next boss is also fairly easy. There is a tougher variant, but the only reason why it's a tougher variant is because of the skeletons that assist it. The cemetery Shades, I think it's what they're called. A.K.A. I call them Nope. Because they are fucking scary as shit. They are like some Blair Witch levels of fuckery. Where the hell am I? That stick of America. Oh, wait on it. Yeah, I'm gonna go the other way. But yeah, once I deal with this uh, cemetery shade, I will be 100% uh, done with all the bosses here. That might be my overall end goal with this play. Oops. Uh, my overall end goal with this uh, playthrough is to beat every boss. So I've done it before. Granted, I, I did, I, you know, this is also before, like, several of the patches came through and nerfed some things and whatnot. And the, the only gripe I have against uh, the, the blood swing is, like, the delay. Like, the damage that I myself suffer, I, they increased it by, they didn't increase it by that much, but... Just the uh, the wind up time on that attack. That's the one grape I have. Uh... Frame rate seems to be doing somewhat better. I might need to lower the graphics a little bit more. Or fuck with the settings at least. Um, a little ways off from where I'm supposed to be at. There should be like a little cave or whatever near here. No, now that I'm looking at I got I got more out of the fucking scaling misbegotten than I did the, uh, the misbegotten. Sword's along this ledge here. Oh, hey, it's out of grace. No, it's not down here. 
What the fuck? God, wait, that, that has to be new. Two more. Guys, has that been there all this time? Sorry, I'm just looking to see if that entrance is nearby, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Definitely just yeah, I, <laughs> I flew way past it. Okay, what the shit? Let me look at this thing. Tomb sword is close to it. I guess it's right in front of it if I'm looking at this correctly. According to this, it's like up here. Or no, up here. Yeah, let me teleport back here real quick, like. Getting stuck on trees, dude. So it should be like right around here, right? Yeah, according to my fucking thing here, yeah. Well, that's the fact. looking for because it's not necessarily an important boss to get rid of. Why? Okay. I need to be up here. So up there we go. Sure, that should be a good indicator, I think. Maybe, possibly. Yep, they are. Cool. Sorry, I thought it was along the bottom edge of the cliff, not here. But, alright, well, oh, I got that out of the way. Tab that out. And apparently something died, and I want to see if I can get a level up before I proceed. Granted, the uh, the boss I'm about to fight's not that terrible. They're actually fairly weak, if I remember. I am about 1k short. Uh, do I want to run that? Yeah, I can quickly run that out. Uh, inventory. I think three of those should do it. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I'll put one into endurance. Okay. I don't remember if I even want to use this. I'm, something tells me I don't, but... Um... Okay, maybe that was worth it then. The when, whenever you use a stone key, and it's just like you know, you gotta actually clear out the thing that says that the stone key was used. I fucking hate that because you know I was hitting the like attack button, and obviously I wasn't doing anything because I haven't cleared out the whole like stone key was used and blah blah blah. I hate that shit. That said, though, I do prefer dungeons with skeletons as opposed to the gargoyles. Or imps, or whatever the fuck they're called. Because the imps are annoying as shit. Yeah, imps are definitely up there in my uh, most annoying enemy category. Fight eating, Mr. Skelly Boy. Stop hitting me with your bows or your arrows, you ass. Also, I gotta say, these are some tall ass skeletons. And these are some Andre the Giants. You're some big old boys. Big old Skelly Boys. Make your part. Whoa! Too there, buddy. Oh, I was like, What the hell is that sound? <laughs> Oh, okay. It's just a fire trap. For some reason, I thought it was one of those, um... Those death chariots. Fucking fuck, 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 asshole. Yeah, what's up, bitch? Come here. Come here, shithead. I love that said a Homer bone shirt. I'm like, that's new. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, up we go. That is actually fairly big. Boys is gonna pop up. Nope. Okay, cool. Oh, here we go. Ah! 
That was a hell of a wind up there, my guy. <laughs> That was my secret attack, he man! How dare you interrupt my secret attack! Yeah. I feel like I missed something. I just got that feeling. Oh yeah, right, that room, uh... Um, yeah, over here. What the hell is... Oh. oh shit. Oh! Whoa, whoa! Fucking hi! There, have fun with that shitheads. <laughs> All in a day's work. Well, I guess night's work. Now, the trick to the cemetery shade is, um, don't get caught by the grab attack. Grab attack is not fun. God damn. And it likes to like apparate and shit. Oh shit! No, you. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm. I'm probably gonna die here. Or maybe not. Damn it, motherfucker. Fucking blood loss. Oh yeah, I can't wait to fight this thing when it has a shitload of skeletons assisting it. Fuck that. I mean, I'll have better gear by then, but just... The only thing that makes that boss even a slight challenge is the blood buildup. The blood loss buildup. Otherwise, it's like, if it didn't have that, it would not be a challenge. And that's kind of why I got to ding it in, like, the lowest tier of the bosses is that when there's only one element that defines a boss by its quality, that being the blood loss effect, it's not a good boss. That's also why I ranked the death right birds as really low, because it's a really thin, uh, big... It's not... It's, I'd say it's medium size more so than anything, but just... The death right birds, the latter ones at least, the only reason they're even hard is because of the black flame attacks that they have. If not for the black flame attacks, they would be fucking stupid easy. But because of the black flame attacks, they're... 
that's just where I got to like kind of throw a little bit of shade at the game or at the development of the game and say like, well, if the only real difficult thing to a boss is one attack or one element of it, then it's not a good boss. It's not a good design. Uh, like, like the Revenants, I despise the fuck out of them, but I think that's a really well-designed enemy. Like, they're annoying, they're obnoxious, they hit like hell, or hurt like hell, I should say, not hit like hell. Well, hit like hell, yeah, because they do have that little spam slap attack, but I don't find them to be a badly designed enemy because there is, like, there are counters to them. There are ways to deal with them. And I guess, like, there are ways to deal with the cemetery shade, but, like, if you were going into it, like, how I did, and that's just straight up, you know, right, straight up melee, no spells, no summons, nothing like that, the blood loss, that's what's going to kill you. Not the boss's strength itself, just the effect of blood loss. Um, and then, you know, they as, like, an added, like, F you to the player, they have one where it's assisted by, I want to say, like five or six skeletons, similar to how that um, Watchdog was assisted by the gargoyles or imps or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Yeah. And the only reason that boss even has any kind of challenge to it is A, the blood loss, and B, because it has skeletons assisting it, and you have to technically kill the skeletons twice in order to permanently kill them, because you gotta, you know, hit their life bar all the way down, and then when that little white white thing starts flaring up, you gotta hit them again to make sure they stay perma-dead. And to me, that's, that's not how you make a good um, big enemy design. It's just artificially inflating the difficulty with, um, lack of a better term, fuckery. And Dark Souls 2 was especially guilty of that, because it had, um, quantity of bosses over quality of bosses and every enemy I fought up to this point minus the shade I, I fucking hate the shades both because they terrify the shit out of me and they're creepy as fuck and also because the only reason that uh, enemy is even challenging is because of the blood loss if you take away the blood loss it's simple it's easy it's ridiculously easy because the combos you can dodge you can block them and they don't take away too much stamina and the other thing going for it is the apparitions, where it, like, teleports here and there, but, you know, even then, you lo you saw its health, and that's kind of the balancing factor that they put into it, is that it, it has such a low um, defense that it doesn't take that many hits to kill, but I still think because blood loss is the main reason it even has any difficulty to it at all, that's the problem. But, yeah, that is every boss in Australia defeated. Um, and I think that's all the greats is acquired. Although, I didn't know that one existed. And I guess I could ex see what's over here, if anything. If there's anything, I should say. Hell, I might even get a bronze shield. You never know. And, I mean, there's bosses in Bloodborne. Like, Bloodborne, to me, is my favorite FromSoft game. But there are bosses in Bloodborne that I kind of, like, ding them over. I'm like, really? Like, the, um... Uh, well... Now that I think about it, it's mostly the bosses in the, uh... The, the Chalice Dungeons. Because the main game bosses, be they optional or mandatory... Or, yeah, be they optional or mandatory. Um... I'd say for the most part, they're really good. Um... there's any bosses in there. I mean, I guess Rom, I kind of dislike because Rom's difficulty lies more in the spider minions that she brings to the table. Because Rom on her own, she, stupid easy. It's, it's kind of like, yeah, you take away her uh, little spider minions, she's stupid easy. Um, yeah, the men, they're the real threat, not her. Even though she's the one you gotta kill because if you don't kill her... Okay, I thought that was like a like a sludge enemy or some shit. It's just a fucking tree. What the hell is that over there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm your fucking tentacles. I can say calm your tits, but I don't think that thing has tits, and even if it does, that's none of my business. 
Obviously, I can't check my map right now because I got all these bat things flying up my ass. God damn it, get away from me, you stupid jellyfish. Or, not, not even a jellyfish. Oh yeah, that thing. Yo, what the hell is that? Oh, there we go. Oh, is it just constantly... Su okay, I'm confused as to what the hell is going on here. Oh my god, you stupid little bitch. Take a minute. I spent all that time and you didn't give me shit. You motherfucker. Oh my god, there's so many of these fucking things. A lot of gold fireflies. Okay. Oh, 
No, heal, dingus. Okay. Damn it, I didn't get what I wanted. I wanted a shield. I gotta take care of that fucker on the ballista. Tower of Return, eh? Hey, shithead. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Get away from that. Does that take me? You know what? I don't even care. Don't even care. So that's yeah. It's pretty much this entire area explored. No, I hit up. I don't think I've hit up there yet. Sorry, I'm just trying to like completely make sure I have Australia knocked out. Let's say that I do. Hello. Oh, wow. There's quite a few of you. Nope, nope. Back away. Ha-ha! That's not what I meant to do. I went to hop off my horse, but yeah, well, whatever. That'd be funny if I fucking just died from falling damage. I mean, I'd be mildly annoyed, but it'd still be funny. Yeah, the wandering mausoleums. Ma mausole mausoleums. Fuck, I can't speak English. That's what those are from uh, last video that I mentioned. In case there was any confusion at all. Grr! Rawr! Bring on, fucker. Down you go. I'll leave your dogs alive, though, because I'm a nice guy. And because Jinx is fond of dogs. And dog-like creatures. Oh, hello. Oh, one of you. Great. Oh, there's two of you. Fucking perfect. I hate these guys, by the way. Or gals? Are they chicks? I thought they were guys. A wing sight. Well, I don't even care to get that. Well, it's read item description, anyways. Oh, there's a lot of weapons I've collected. I haven't read the thing. Like, uh, yeah, actually, let's do that real quick. Uh, is that? Yep. Check a dagger with a distinctive curved blade. That's actually one of my favorite daggers. Used by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. This dagger rips the flesh as it enters, inflicting blood loss with sickening efficient. efficacy. I thought it said efficiency, but it's efficacy. A proud res. A, pr a proud res estimate? What the fuck's a res estimate? A proud testament to the success of its vicious design, the weapon perpetually coated in blood. Or Duvia Bloodblade. Yeah, it's one of my favorite daggers. Nurse Steel Dagger. Nurse Steel Dagger with gra a grass crest engraved upon its blade. Carried by the other street royalty for self-defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, the weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power scales with faith. Mm -hmm. 
it's regular daggers, regular dagger, broadsword. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. I thought I had a Lord Sworn Sword. I'm like, oh, huh. But I don't. So, it is what it is. This is why I had the other. Just about the Lord Sword, and a mere man is capable of swinging, true to its name, and designed to be wielded by both hands. But those of merely ordinary strength will still struggle to do so. The long blade is heavy, sharp, sending foes reeling back with its broader strokes. Also capable of downsetting piercing thrust. So if you've watched um, My Hero Academia, this blade right here reminds me of the one that... Um, oh, I forget the name of the lizard guy, but he's got like basically <laughs> a big ass sword that's made of a metric fuck ton of swords. <laughs> and it reminds me of that. The story is sort of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret. One of the legendary armaments. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need that to uh, get an achievement. Uh, basically, acquire all the legendary armaments, um, which I hopefully will be able to do. The lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. <laughs> it's literally that weapon from my academia. Actually, no, actually, well, yeah, because he had it at when the, uh, in the season, what was it, three? And then it got broken up, and then he never used it again, so. But it still reminds me of the time that he had it. Bloodhound's Fang. Yeah, those are used by the Bloodhound Knights. Basically, the guys that, like, kind of creep on all fours. They kind of look like skinny versions of, uh... Vort from Dark Souls 3. And they also don't have, you know, Ice Magic Twin Blade. Um, if those of you that have played um, Dice Warriors 5, it's basically like Sal P's weapon. So I think it's funny they call him Sal P now instead of, you know, Cal Pi. <laughs> oh, actually, no! It's better that they call him Sal P instead of Cal Pi. Because <laughs> Dice Warriors 5, me and a uh, friend of mine from high school. We always laughed at his name because we thought it was cow pie. <laughs> Basically cow shit. Uh, damn. Yeah, South P is a little bit more... Commands a little bit more respect than cow pie. Uh, sort of blades on both ends. Can wield it. Okay, yeah, there's no lore behind that one, really. This chilly and undulterating forks blade is known as an imp's tongue. It causes blue loss. Yeah, that's the weapon that the imps use on a regular basis. I think that's what the... No, that's the Deathbirds use that. No, wait, no. The Deathbirds use that staff thing. I want to say this is what the... Um... Is that a great weapon? No, I don't think it is. The rusty anchor will that does a weapon. Each of its four flukes is thick and sharp, enabling piercing attacks. When Tarnished left the lands between with their lord... One boat alone was said to have been left behind, and yep, they turned the anchor into a weapon. Yeah, great, a great axe is what the freaking uh, misbegotten dudes use. Yeah, there's no lore behind it. Yeah, no lore behind it. Wait, hold on. Is there... Persist to have your folks to the ground. Flail. That's the number. Yeah, that's what we got from that Knight Rider that I killed. Yeah, no lore behind that one. No lore on that one. According to pagan belief, white-winged maidens are said to be death's gentle envoys. A whip for all you BDSM freaks out there. Though a simple text can be thwarted by parrying or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing critical hits. So yeah, you don't get any crits out of that one. A sneered at by fools in the academy. <laughs> The Glintstone Staff is as a scepter, a gift once given to the demi-humans to foster peace. It can't be wielded by even those of low intelligence. Clamark represents Garok's wrath and hence the best incantations learned from Garok. Alright, there we go. There's our lore lessons of the day. I still only have the one helmet. But yeah, there you go. Oh, it's a skull. Okay. I think 
yeah, that has to be it for here because we explored all of that. We explored all of this. There might be like a weapon or two that I'm missing. Did I any, touch on anything here? No, I did. I believe I did anyway. So yeah, I think that's Australia covered. What the hell's right here? Well, let's go find out. Oh, that's right. I could fight the uh, I could fight the Crucible Knight, which he's yeah, he's right there. Ah, uh, Crucible Knight's a tough cookie. A little absurdly tough, if I might add. At least for that early on in the game. Yeah, actually, yeah. We'll, we'll hit. Well, actually, no. Let me. Actually, I'll keep that as a point of interest. I don't want to start there. Kind of work my way and see what's in this little, like, southern bubble here. So, I'm getting all my backtracking done early on. That way, we can just kind of push through. Uh, Liernia is another one that's going to take a while to get through because it's such a massive area. I just did a fucking 360 right there, and yeah. Telescope. Yeah, so. Oh, wait, isn't there... Yeah, let me wait at night, because then there's a uh, boss I can fight. I just remember, there's that uh, Black Knight I can fight. So yeah, let me head back here. How many smithing stones have I got? I got one. Alright, so I'll spend these up. A level up. I think I only got enough for one. Yeah, it's just enough for one. Like two endurance. Uh, oh, whoops. I forgot to pass time. Silly me. How much we got left? 730. Oh, yeah, I can. I can deal with losing 738, that's not a problem. Uh, pass the time, it's a nightfall. Okay, let's go fight another uh, doohickey. And I, now I'm trying to picture, like, Imagine playing this game in first-person mode. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah! There he be. God damn it. Woo okay, close. Fuck. Oh, I got that heal lucky. using that first one I fought. I mean, actually, I would have did fine against that first one. I just hit all the... I just kept hitting the wrong fucking buttons. 
Uh, but yeah, anyways. Um. What the hell is that fool doing? Oh, was that a telescope? <laughs> I thought that was a horn. I'm like, why are you looking through your horn? This one, I'm I'm using my summons. I I just this this fight's stupid. Where's that shrine of uh, herb sick America? There it is. Keep it fair, though. Make it 2v2. Um, yeah, bring in that guy. Oh, wait, there's only one of them. Okay, never mind. I thought this was the twin Mad Heads, not the single one. Okay. Yeah, if it's just him, then yeah. That's whatever. Oh, hey, it's you! Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Um. I don't want to learn sorcery, but. Fuck it, why not? Ah, a yen for glimstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's master's I really like her voice, by the way. It's... I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? I think she's slightly Scottish, maybe? But I just like her voice is just so soothing. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's an attraction thing. I don't know. It might be. I might be into her. You never know. But then again, Ronnie's voice, Melina's voice, or Melena's voice. Ah, so many waifu. There's so much waifu material in this game. I would say Melania, but uh... <laughs> Ooh, talk about a uh... talk about someone that's met their expiration date. Shit. <laughs> Well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glimstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. 
Uh, what do you got for me? No, I'm not getting it. Well, I can use Glintstone Pebble. <laughs> I can use the most basic bitch of sorceries. Actually, no, I think she might just be like uh, Welsh. I think it's Welsh, maybe. I thought it was Scottish for a second, like a slight Scottish. Not in thought. Hold on. On that, on that note. <laughs> Let us ponder the mysteries of the world together. <laughs> I can teleport out of here, right? Okay, cool. Just making sure. Holy hell, it's a goddamn party over here. What's up, fellas? <laughs> God damn, those fucking torch guys. Like, they don't even deal a lot of damage. It's just, like, it's just, it's a, con ow. It's a constant spasm of damage. A shield, you fucker. No, you stop that. God, there's quite a few of them over here, <laughs> just like chilling out. I guess that was a goddamn party. Actually, I think they're part of that escort that, uh, That reminds me, did I already get, uh, did I already claim the, uh, treasures that they are transporting? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, hello! Grrr! Rawr! Oh, shit! <laughs> Saved! <laughs> I almost ran off to my death. Let me just double check, make sure I got this out. Yeah, I can get this out. Oh, wait, can I get a free ride? Ha-ha! <laughs> free ride! Let's go, boys! Never mind, you're taking too long. Grrr! <laughs> Somebody's pissed off. Oh, you fucking ankle biters! <laughs> Got me that time there, buddy. That definitely got me that time. Doing a lot better than your uh, partner did. Ugh. 
<laughs> I had a good had a good rotation going there. <laughs> Hell, me and that giant could have ran a goddamn power plant together if we so wanted. <laughs> Look at you, the last of the Mohicans. Nope, too bad you're dead. <laughs> and I gotta recharge out of that. That's funny. That's fucking funny. Oh, hey, I see that skull there. Okay. Um, back to it. So, let's see here. Yeah, let's head up to that uh, marker that I left down. Let's see what the hell that's all about. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, hey, it's one of these schnooks. Oh, wait, I think I know. Yeah, we're going to meet uh, another NPC over here. Wait, no, we've already met her, haven't we? Oops, I think so. Well, I think so. One. Meh. Actually, wait, no. trying to remember um no i'm thinking of the war i'm thinking of uh i'm thinking of another shot i think it's like up here or some shit the heartbroken maiden i'm glad i headed up here because that you know gave me another thing so we've explored all of that. That like, like that this strip here is pretty much all good to go. Um, yeah, it just leaves the south area. But I want to go revisit, uh, yeah, the heartbroken maiden because I figured she would have already teleported to the round table, and I actually need her to be alive. Pleasure to see. Did you give the little chrysalids the message that I love them, and that despite my craven heart, unless I gotta beat, uh, I might need to beat uh, a boss at the beginning of uh, of Stormvale here. That might be why she hasn't moved yet. Or sorceress, what's her pants is? Um, I know I cleared out his inventory, but I don't remember if I cleared. No, I, yeah, I did clear out his. Um, yeah, Kenneth Height. Let's go visit that merchant then. Let's see what items he's got for because I think I've got a few uh, runes. Oh my god, I just don't know how many fucking runes I'm carrying. Holy shit. Er. Yeah, there he is. Ah, how nice, Lise. <laughs> He's so nice. I guess we'll buy these cookbooks. 
by Rick's hatchet. Wait, oh, I, I said him by herbing carnivorous bees. I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> what? Come again? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything off of him. I don't think I've bought anything off of Patches yet, even though he charges like an exuberant amount for his shit. Yeah, let's go visit that merchant, see what he's got for sale. See if he's got a gorilla for sale, in fact. Because I could use a gorilla. Gorilla companion. Holy shit, it's so dark! Also, let me, uh... Let's see how many level ups I can get here. Runes needed... Oh. Um, yeah, let's improve strength. Uh, how the fuck do I get out of here? Okay, and then Mr. Merchant is up here. Oh, Senor Merchant. You again? I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Um, I'll take that off your hands. I guess I'll take these as well. Maybe it's poison build up and cures poison. Yeah, I'll take those. Ground shield. 80. That's not bad. Short bow. Yeah, I could use a ranged weapon. But, eh, I'll save it up. Uh, let's see. I'll sell you that. Not oh, down. Well, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll keep the one as a spare. <laughs> could do wheel clubs. I wonder if, I, yeah, actually, I believe you can do wheel clubs. All right, so let's see. In terms of our merchants, we've cleared out the two down there. We've cleared out him, and we've cleared out him. So let me see what I have left with Kale. I think Kale's the only other merchant I've encountered. I don't think I've ran into any of the ones over near uh, what should we call it? Always. Um, uh, now I can buy those pots off of him. But no, no, it looks like for the most part I'm done with him. Good. Oh yeah, talk about blade. What is it? Ah, then you met Blythe, did you? Wonderful. I'm glad I pointed you in his direction. Or Blythe, not Blade. He's boorish, blunt, and couldn't find his nose with both hands. But he's a good egg. He is a good boy. Uh, I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. Okay. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now. Though the Elden Ring is shattered, I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the Tarnished, and mine. Goodbye, for now. Okay, so I want to show you something. Um, do I have that telescope? I do. Cool. Uh, okay, you can't really tell from here. You can kind of tell. So his eyes are a yellowish color. I know you can't really tell from here. 
Uh, well, yeah, you, you can kind of tell, but his eyes are a yellowish color, and that feeds into uh, a theory about the merchants and why that they're so rejected by the Golden Order. Um, I'll get into that later because, you know, there's lore implications if that is in fact true. Yeah, let me see how my character looks in terms of the oh, graphic fidelity. Oh, she looks adorable. I like cuter than the real Jinx. I want to, you know, kind of stroke my ego a little bit there. Um, but nah. Like, I'm not a big fan of League of Legends. Like, I don't even know the game for manners, but uh, the show Arcane was just fucking fantastic. That's why I went with the whole uh, Devil Jinx kind of get up here. Or, well, went with the Jinx get up, but Devil Jinx is my name on uh, Discord and other places. Holy shit, it's. Oh my god, it's late as fuck. Ugh. Man, working these night schedules. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I know I sound like I had a, you know, uh, a moment there, but, uh. Can I get rid of that? Okay, thank you. Uh, I didn't realize how long I've been recording. I didn't realize what time it was, but shit. You know, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. So. See, so yeah, I've explored, like, this strip, like, through here. So that leaves like this tidbit, and yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, or yeah, we've already, we already defeated the bloodhound dude because yeah, he was the traitor to Ronnie. Um, damn, I really did hit a lot of graces over here. That's gonna fuck up my exploration. But um, if I want to call it a video here. Night. I don't know. Where's this at? Waypoint Ruined Cellar, Source with Selen. Let me just pop out there and explore around the cell there. Yeah, let's do that. Because uh, I've been watching, you know, as I said before, I've been watching Mapo Clops's uh, stuff, and I want to do as little backtracking as possible because, um, like, when it comes to him playing it and him exploring things and whatnot, like, I want him to have the best time of his fucking life when he's, you know, exploring. Oops. When he's exploring. Hello? Game? Okay, don't attack Selin. But, uh, yeah, I want him to have the time of his life. I want him to enjoy the game as much as he wants to, like, let him do his thing. If I don't like it, then I'll skip over where he, where he's at or what he's doing, and, you know, I've got other YouTubers I can watch until he, uh, gets where I want him to be, but I think he's found a good balance between, uh, backtracking and exploration, whereas with me, I'm trying to almost completely remove the backtracking aspect. Um, is that possible? I don't think so, but I'm going to do my utmost. That way I'm not wandering in a dungeon where I'm, you know, not really engaged in combat with enemies that, you know, would offer me a valid challenge and whatnot. But that's kind of par for, like, for him, though, in his defense, um... He's playing the game blind. He's never touched the game before. He's I've, he, I've actually experienced uh, areas and places that he doesn't even know exist yet. And so that's kind of par for the course with a blind playthrough. And that's something that I think a select group of people are not understanding. Is that, you know, he's... This is his first time. Whoa! Okay, I'm probably going to fucking die. God damn it. The fucking wind up, my guys. Oh, sweet. Kill them. 
Oh, I got a better armor. Fuck off, dude. Okay, those those two guys are gonna cower off. Um, uh, equipment. That's yeah, better-ish. Uh, but anyways, what was I saying? Oh, right. Um. Oh yeah, screw you, dude. You're fucked. <laughs> Asshole. Yeah, like, he's playing it for the first time, so... He wants to get it right. As best as he possibly can. Ow! Ow! You fuckers. Damn it, I was hoping to get a shield off of him. No! Real house scroll, that's definitely what I wanted. Okay. Let's kill more of these fools. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Oh, that's actually a good start, too. I believe that armor is better than the one I'm currently wearing. Who the fuck is shooting me with their laser beams? Who does? Is it you? Ow. Oh, it's you. You're up fucking here, you little fuck nugget. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, shit. Oh, pfft. Embarrassing if I fucking died from falling damage. I'm so pissed off that those fucks have not dropped the shield yet. Right, so I need to figure out how to get to. Uh, oops. See if this dingbat drops. Provided I can figure out where the hell he. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, a fragment and a flower. Somebody's like, here's all the rocks I have. Also, bury me. <laughs> Put a flower on my grave. Anyways. You there, shitbag! I want to challenge you to a duel on horseback. color contrast between the shield and the armor isn't very good, but actually, do I have a shield? I could just switch. Well, I could get that fucking one shield from the maidens. Which, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. That's what I'm gonna do. It gives me parry anyway, and I think it roughly does the same amount of blocking shenanigans, so it's whatever. <laughs> Fuck those books. <laughs> okay, good match. Yeah, it's slightly inferior. But it contrasts better. Hey, what the hell is that? Look 
I've seen that icon on there before. Uh, so let's see, yeah, we explored all of that. So I guess all that's left is what's over over here. All right, back to waifu number three and a half. I say half because margin of error. Okay, that must have been the uh, the round table thing. Uh, that reminds me, equipment. Thought so. And bypass all these chuckle nuts. Whoa, oh, hi. Stupid torch bearing clown. Also, stupid torch bearing clown. What's up, dude? Oh, nice. I got his blade, finally. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna head, uh, west. That's where the crab dwells. Slippery meat. Actually, this is where I'm at, uh, no, it's not, okay. That was gonna be where I met uh, that hate guy or height guy. Hate height, whatever the hell his name is. No, apparently it's just a site where a big ass fucking ruin fell, or a big ass tower fucking fell. Like you here. Hopefully, we don't run into a big one. I mean, that wouldn't be a problem, but it would be a, cum a uh, encumbrance. Oh, the Batman! Oh my god, how many of them are there? Care of them. <laughs> I thought that was funny that I opted up and they both hit me uh, simultaneously with the little sonic boom thing. Or uh, sonic wave, I guess for lack of a better term. I love a dude in a chair. What the fuck was that? Incantation skip. What? I like it. More bats creatures. No, come here, you stupid bug. Crevice, I just fall right into it. 
all while chasing a goddamn bug. Oh, yeah, it's gonna respond to me here. God damn it. I blame the helmet. Be gone, helmet. Alright, now to go find my shit. And I might call it a video here. Uh. Wait, what? What? I'm sorry. Wow, did I really wander that far? Wow, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't realize I wandered that far, uh. West. Damn. So it might actually be legit time for me. Uh... Wait, you're still here? Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the round table hold. My sincerest Congratulations, but how did you find the round table? Uh, Google oh, Maps. You don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors, but now it's home to puff chests and has beans. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. Not really. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. I don't need a seat. <sighs> you didn't like yes, that? Yes, I see. Perhaps it's just as well. Besides, you are maidenless. One can only do so much with the materials provided. <laughs> but then again, if you should realize the error of your ways, I'm always willing to hear you out. <laughs> Way to kick me in the dick, you douchebag. Oh. Have you decided to have a go after all? At joining the round table proper? I just don't like the thing saying, I'll fly straight and true. It just sounds so fucking cheesy. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great room and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, the tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit, so that you may see for yourself. Challenge Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, to acquire a great room. Decrepit he may be, but a demigod he remains. And of course, an inheritor of a great room. Worse yet, I hear old Godric's acquired a ferocious new toy to graft. So, prepare for the worst. I believe it's referring to a thing that he gets later on. He being, um, Godric. Uh, yeah, because I forgot that guy was still there. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh, that's right, I was getting my runes back. Oh wow, yeah, I really did travel west, holy shit. Hell, I might need to double check, uh... My guy to see if there's any, uh, bosses that I missed. And I'm gonna start, like, uh, not... Like, I'm still gonna use the guide, just to see if there's things that I've missed. In terms of, uh... In terms of like bosses and whatnot, that way I fight them at the appropriate level and not like, you know, let's say for example, I make it, 
all the way through here, I'm level like, I don't know, 60 or some shit, and then I come back here, and it's like, everything's gonna be fucking a cakewalk. It's gonna be a fucking cakewalk. You know, I wanna be, uh, I wanna be able to have a challenge, but I think I'm mostly done with her. There might be, like, a boss, like, around here or some shit that I've missed, maybe some things up here, but I think for the most part, we're done with the limb grove or limb grave and then it's time to you know basically head into storm veil so um yeah i'm gonna end the video here hour and 30 that's not bad oh damn i need to get up and walk i've been recording for like the last almost four hours um so yeah we'll uh rest here And I'll look up on my guide to see what all I've missed, but we definitely got Australia covered, and I think most of Ohio is good to go. And, of course, we, <laughs> we're going to get into uh, Florida later on, but that's neither here nor there. Hello, my cat. Do you want a cameo? Do you want to be a cameo cat? Come here. Come here. Come here. Want to be a cameo cat? Look at the cameo cat. Look at the cameo cat. Look at her. Oops, hold on. Look at her! And her magnificent beauty! <laughs> She's our Elden Lord. Bask in her greatness. And her little kitty paws. <laughs> Ow, cookie! <laughs> yeah, she didn't like... Oh, shit. Uh, she did not like that. <laughs> you did not like that, did you? But, uh, anywho, I've been Devil Watts, or Devil Jinx, on when you watch this video, and I will see you all next time.